Neil Stevens, Tom Southen running right next to me. Have a good one, fellas. Okay, did you get all of that? So where I am now is, uh, well, approaching Adelaide Oval. I've done it before. I'll do it again. Cricket's on, but so is the tour down under. And uh, this is uh, second last day of the race, Saturday morning, the 20th of January, 2024. Aiming north momentarily, and then I think I'm going to turn west, aim west, but after I go over the mighty Torrens River. I've mentioned it before, but I'll say it again. I became familiar with Adelaide Oval in April of 2023 because I came down for the first ever gather around of the AFL. We watched six games at that place, so every single game that was played there. And uh, our team won, so that was good. Uh, but anyway, you don't care. And uh, I'm here for a bike race, so I might talk about that, or I might just talk about the things I see, because, you know, that's what I've been doing for years, talking about cycling, not footy. And yeah, I've got a race to go to uh, later today. I've got to get the transfer from the Adelaide Hilton uh, in a media car at 8.45. And today, right now it's 6.30 a.m. What the? And uh, I, need to, I just need to squeeze in uh, a little ride because it makes me happier at the start of the day. And I should just settle in because I know how it works here. I have spent, I reckon, a good year of my life at red lights in Adelaide. So as I roll gently away from the city, I'll just fill you in on a couple of things. So yesterday, I spoke with uh, Adam Hansen. All the rules and regulations of the pros is exactly the same for the under 19s, yep. under 17s, under 16s. Yep. And the UCI was seeing that the 16 year old kids all had their brakes in because the pros do. So then I went to Port Elliot, which was wonderful. And I told my wife last night, uh, it's cool if we uh, come down uh, to the Florio Peninsula at one point and have a, a nice little holiday because I want to spend a bit more time there. I've only ever gone to Victor Harbour or Port Elliot like yesterday, gone in and out, ate a bug, um, gone in and out for the day. But uh, I've worked out that holidays in South Australia are really quite good things to have. <laughs> so I'm going to try and squeeze in another one. But I'll be taking the family and a few more bikes because I saw gravel roads that wouldn't, well, they made me happy and I didn't even use them. I just looked at them and thought, I've got to go there one day. So that's my plan. So, um, I have no plan other than to utilize a couple of hours early in the morning when there's not much traffic and before it gets warm because it's well, it's showing 17 degrees, but it feels like when I walked out the door, it felt like 26, 27. No, nah, not quite. It, felt, it was like, not stifling, but you know, notable, notable, notable. Car going the other way. Stop randomly. Uh, I'm aiming north only because I haven't yet. No, I haven't yet. I haven't yet done that on this trip to Adelaide. And I just wanted some variety. So, ta-da, I've done that. But, uh, and while the uh, bicycle path network is excellent in this town, and certainly picturesque and even convenient, 
take note, Sydney. Um, I don't think I'm going to stay on it for much longer because I want to raise a little bit of a sweat at some point on this ride and get a little bit of exercise and push a bit of oxygen into my brain because just before I left, I thought I was going to have a spew. I just was like having my coffee, getting ready. Suddenly I'm like, oh, what's happening? And then uh, guess what? I got better and I didn't spew. Little victories, you know, You've got to celebrate them. Like the beauty of this bike path. The uh, magical, still, windless, wind-free conditions. The bird song, and the gentle tap of a little white ball as it gets sumped away by a big stick. I'm next to a golf course. Is that a house? That was like a palace. Anyway, I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. But you got one anyway. And um, I think I've done that before. Not very funny. Righto. I'm at uh, Barton Terrace West. As the sign tells me, and Jeffcott Street. No, Jeffcott Road. Jeffcott Road's calling. Doesn't look pretty. I don't care. This morning was one of those mornings where you're like, I know I like to ride my bike and I know I like to do that early in the morning, but I don't know if I want to do it today. You know, one of those like, can I think of an excuse? Like almost spewing before I go put my kid on, you know, stuff like that. Is that a good enough excuse? And I was like, no, it's not. Just shut up, have your coffee, ride your bike, and then improve your mood. Done. Yeah, so I'm glad I went, is my point. I wasn't going to, I was trying to sort of, you know, weasel my way out of it. <laughs> Say, tell myself, hey Rob, you don't need to ride today. But the truth is, I'm a better person if I do ride my bike. So, uh, to those who are going to, you know, be in my company later today, I bet you're happy that I've gone for a little pedal. Okay. I'm tracking towards the coast and uh, it's been, you know, bother hassle free, quite a lovely little ride. There was a little patch there where I thought, hmm, I wonder if this suburb's called Pet Food Shop because that's what it smelled like. But then that's gone, so life's all right again. I, I don't know what suburb it was and I'm pretty confident to say it's not called Pet Food Shop. That's the village grounds. I read that, so I know that. And uh, what's next, what's next? I think there's a dolphin sanctuary coming up, so that'll be amusing, if that's correct, if my memory serves me well. You could certainly say that's the end of the line, but I'm getting paintings of bicycles on the road. Uh, then I see a bike rider ahead of me, so that's a positive sign. And now we'll see where that spits me out. Oh, here we go, I'll film it for you just so you understand what I'm talking about. And what do you do when you're in a tunnel? Yes. <laughs> Sorry to everyone who ditched me here and heard my amazing musical tones. <laughs> Not. Uh, I guess I'm doing this just to show you that you can um, wake up on a Saturday morning in Adelaide, have good intentions of riding, not know where you're going, feel quite crook, not good, and then still go out and have a pretty bloody good time without battling with traffic and silliness and uh, dumb 
road signs and the like, but I don't know. Oh, no, actually it looks like it's functional, look. Uh, to be frank, you know, like to be honest, I kind of imagined that I'd wind up here. The only issue is I don't really know where here is, only that I'm currently there. But anyway, uh, the theory being I'm around about near Port Adelaide somewhere-ish. Okay, uh, just keep following the sign, the signs. Fuck the jacks. See that, bit of graffiti. That wasn't a formal sign. Like, they might tell you in uh, Walkerville not to be a turd in, uh, with formal signs, but fuck the jacks. That was just graffiti sprayed on by someone who doesn't like jack. This is about 30 seconds later from when I spoke to you last and I just thought I'd, uh, you know, just stop, take in the serenity, take in the beauty as I approach Port Adelaide. Do you want to hear? Just share it with me. Look at that. Hey, cycling it brings you all the views. I mean, have a look at this beautiful uh, pile of gravel. Hey. You ever seen a pile of gravel like that documented in a cycling video before? I certainly haven't. But, you know, it's hospitable enough and it's making me feel welcome even though I still do, I, I'm actually close to Port Adelaide, I don't know that much. But I don't officially know where that is other than, well, I've done that joke before. Here, beautiful uh, warehousing solutions. You got that? Warehousing funky shit going on with my camera. Warehousing solution, I was saying. This detouring, it's kind of taken me a little bit all around the world. And oh, I'm glad it did too, because look at this glorious view. Hey, do you sit like that? Or do you want some more? Okay, I'll give you some more. Now, quality wool, that's, that building says. It's not really convincing me that it's, you know, being overly utilised at the moment. But it is evidently where the wool brokers hang out, or did hang out once upon a time. And I'm guessing Dal Getty made a pretty penny back in the day. Anyway, I'm here. Holy shit! I filmed long enough to show you this. Now, I'm still taking a detour for the record, so... I wasn't expecting any of this, but now I've got it. You ready? One, two, three, four, peacock. Huh? What I was saying about the wool store is this, I'll finish that story. Uh, Brisbane, example, wool stores. Uh, once upon a time down near Newstead and that. Uh, was it was used for wool brokerage now it's utilized for housing and really nice apartments so I'm using my imagination I could imagine that being a bloody beautiful conversion if if it's no longer utilized holy shit it's actually quite pretty look at this I think I'm in Port Adelaide and I just said it's pretty uh, yeah, so there you go. Ta-da! Hithaf Rashid, you'd be proud of me, wouldn't you? She, yeah, she loves her Port Adelaide footy team. Is this... Yes. Given that it said Port, I think it might be. Given that I'm next to this... <laughs> I didn't film it, but I kept the camera running. And I hope you heard that V8 engine, just to prove a point. I'm in Port Adelaide. Da 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 da. And it was a Commodore, yeah, a real one. Holding everything. 
All right, I think that's pretty much, yeah. Okay, 10 past seven of idling around. Just uh, keep an eye on the watch, Rob, keep an eye on the watch. And, oh fuck, I've got a red light. That means I'm stuck here for another 15 minutes. These are all jokes that, are, that, are, that, are, that only make sense to me, but I, um, I'm sharing them with you anyway. So down to Outer Harbour, where'd you go this morning, Rob? Uh, Outer Harbour, where are you going this afternoon? Old Wollonga, uh, out at McLaren Vale. Why are you here? Ride a bike. What are your legs? <laughs> Great. Steel sprigs. What are they gonna do? T t t turn the pedals? You know, I'm sorry, you know, to the writers of Gallipoli. The movie. Uh, does that make sense to you, that, that little uh, reference to Australian movie history? <laughs> Sephamore is calling. Oh, and there's some beautiful bunting. You want to see it? And I can understand why that's there. I'll just extend the camera and show you what it's, what it's hiding. Do you know what that is? Progress. Port Adelaide. Someone swimming or floating. Uh, now I turn around. It wouldn't be a visit to South Australia without um, a little uh, journey out along one of the many, many beautiful jetties. So I've done that now. All right. Look at the sunrise. Or, well, the sun's well and truly up, but it, it's looking pretty. And from the Sephamore jetty, I'll tell you a little story about Sephamore. When I was here in April last year with my son, we were sitting having lunch there on the last day before we flew out back home to Sydney. And this guy came up to me and said, Rob, I've been watching your videos. I'm from Tasmania and I think they're great. And um, keep, keep up the good work. And then as he, as he went to move off after telling me the videos that he liked, he said, Rob, keep on telling those dad jokes. And I said, okay, thanks. And then he wandered off and there was a pause. There was a bit of silence. And then my son said to me, no, don't. One man's humour is a, a young man's, not uh, you know, annoying uh, frustrations. Yeah. Um, so dad jokes. He wanted them to continue. I think I did this one last year, but I'm going to do it again. Are you ready? This is a great place, but it's not mine. I don't even know if I filmed it, but the idea is that that's. Arnold Ice Creamery or something, and my name's uh, Rob Arnold, and it's, anyway, all right, that's the story of my ride, 20th of January, time to go watch bike race, signing off from Sephamore, because it uh, has that assonance about it, signing off from Sephamore, I'll say it again. Bon, allez, on y va, on y va. That was a big bunch, there's heaps of bunches, but that was a big one. And I'm riding with James Guthrie. Hey, Who is responsible for this bloody beautiful kit and all the electric shocks I'm getting right now. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of it. Story on my ride with James from LA. He's going there and I'm going there. Yeah. All right. Good to see you, man. Thanks for that. That was good. Nice work. Uh, that's his stuff.
And I just bumped into him at Glenel. And now, well, I, I got a half hour to get ready. James, see that cemetery? I do. No one living in Adelaide is allowed to be buried there. Oh no shit. Yeah, it's true. So who's that? Well, they've got to be dead first. Ah!